Welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News with myself and Tommy. Tommy, what is new out there in the world? What's new out here is that uh, flowers are starting to uh, uh, start growing out of the ground and it's starting to bloom. Trees are starting to get green and uh, you can see all the signs of spring, but just like everywhere else, things are still relatively slow, people being safe and cautious, and that's what's going on here. Right, we're all still quarantining ourselves, and that's right, it's all about the spring weather. So, yes, we have some YouTube and celebrity gossip news. Let's get to work, here we go, and let's do it. Welcome back everyone. Well, Tommy, got to ask you, what's happening for this week? What's new out there in the news world and the social media world? What's happening? Okay. Well, you, you've heard of the game uh, called Five Nights at Freddy, right? Do you want to tell our subscribers what that game is? Yes. So Five Nights at Freddy is a computer video game where you're playing as a security guard for a children's pizza party uh, place where it gets weird and freakishly scary as the nights go on and different things happen like animatronics come to life uh, without you know any electricity in them and things get really weird you have to uh, make sure they don't get out and so it's a horror game in the horror, in that whole genre of horror games where you know, each night gets progressively worse and worse and worse, and, and you got to make sure you're safe and then make sure that none of these animatronics get out of control or get out of the pizza parlor. Mm -hmm. So um, two people that helped make that game popular, Jack Septicai and Markiplier, started a clothing company called Cloak back in 2018 based around Five Nights at Freddy, uh, who was created by Scott... Clara is his name, uh, and basically they all teamed up together. You can get a hoodie based on the game, an apron, uh, the security guard uniform, hoodies, all ranging from $25 to $80, um, and they just dropped it this year. Uh, and within a matter of time, they were sold out of everything. So they're doing their best to restock it and make sure uh, when they, because they don't see uh, as right now like a lot of businesses um, that are YouTuber clothing businesses uh, have stopped shipping like DTBA, don't forget to be awesome. They're currently not shipping right now. They're still taking orders, so it's not shipping right now. But they are doing their best to make sure when they do ship the people who are making the products for them, when they do ship them, that they're being safe and they're being shipped safely so no one is uh, being in close contact, nobody's affecting anybody. So that's their goal throughout this. Plus, they're also donating 10% of earnings from this product line, Cloak, to the health organization, uh, CDC, to help, uh, you know, with funds for that. Well, Tommy, that's good to, that they're uh, donating their money to lend it to a good cause. Um, overall, that's good that their product line will um, run out be, just because they're pretty, that's hot stuff. And if you uh, get on the website, you guys can order some stuff for a good cause and uh, help out as well. So, Scott, who's the creator of Five Minutes at Freddy, who is the only employee at this company, by the way, he's doing this all by himself, uh, has teamed up with companies like Hot Topic in the past to make licensed merch and dice, you know, like as far as ho hoodies and t-shirts and stuff. But it looks like that Markiplier and Jack Septicai are the first YouTuber-based company to team up with the creator of Five Nights at Freddy. I think that's a really good uh, thing, you know, that 
this guy trusts you know these guys uh, a lot to you know use his uh, his his name to uh help other people out there i think um that this is a great thing for people who are fans of games like five nights at freddy or any other kind of games you know that they can people that made it popular they they know that hey i watched like jack and i walk um markiplier and so i know they do good quality videos so they also therefore have must do good quality uh with their merchandise so uh, moving on Tommy do you know uh, that uh, there is hot water about the gathering um, the social distancing in Central Park and Florida Beach as well just because a lot of people last week of the outbreak went to the beach in Florida and nobody was social distancing nobody was really watching out using the six foot rule there were crowds there were people taking walks there were people getting together yeah I remember uh, hearing about that yeah where uh, right. people were just walking around without care right right they didn't really care so now People in um, Florida are getting into some hot water. So police have the green light on people that are not using the six foot rule that are still getting together like that. People in New York or in Florida actually are getting in hot water. If you're not social distancing yourself from another person, Please catch you. It's a thousand dollar fine per ticket. There are 13 people that have had uh, arrest cases, and the rest are tickets on top of that. NYPD has the green light, like I said, to give thousand dollar tickets, and the same with uh, Florida as well. If you're not gonna, you know, respect the guidelines, uh, and it takes uh, fine to enforce people to uh, follow the guidelines and not only help protect themselves but other people um, I think it's just at the least it's the bare minimum man that for those people who just say like oh this is nothing this is just not serious that this might make them take a little more seriously a thousand dollar fine is no cheap ticket out there and so you know if like you said if they're not going to follow the rules then a thousand dollars nypd has 37 cases with the social distancing since they have 37 cases so far people are having to pay that thousand dollars i think it's fair you know that if you're not going to do at least the minimal requirements being six feet away, there should be some enforcement because you can't just, you know, like, oh, there's going to be a consequences, you know, it's just, oh, they're like, oh, la -de -da -de -da, nice day. No, there has to be some consequences, especially in times like this. You can't just go around doing whatever you want to do. Right, exactly. So, uh, meantime, we will put our stories down on the section down below. You guys could take a look at that. Anything else before we go, Tommy? Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a like, and ring that bell to be notified when we post another video in the future. All right, and we will see you guys later. And uh, this has been a top level media. And keep yourself safe. All right, we'll see you guys later, and bye for now. Bye bye. Oh, 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 oh,